Welcome, this is question number 14 from the 10 Ready Practice Test for Geometry. The question says, in figure P, in the figure, sorry, ray PS is tangent to circle O, which means it strikes the circle at one single point, um, at point S, so it tells us right here, arc QR measures 110 and arc RS measures 150. What is the measure in degrees of QPS? So this is an outside uh, angle, so we can use the outside angle theorem. But let's talk a little bit about the picture really fast. If I have a ray that strikes the circle once, that would be a tangent. And then, or you can have a line tangent as well. If it strikes it at two points here, so it goes through secant. Now we can have a mixture of these things. This one has a secant and a tangent. We could also have ones outside angles that just have tangent, like that, and pretend it only strikes once. And then we could also have ones, of course, that are usually closer, and these are both secants. So, no matter which one it is, it doesn't really matter. You can solve them the same way every time. Really, the formula ends up being that the measurement of the outside angle is equal to one-half the difference between the two intercepted arcs. So in this case, the measurement of angle QPS is equal to one half. And you want to put the one that's further away usually first, so you'll have a positive number, so the bigger one, um, RS minus the smaller one, which is QS. So basically, I just want to find the difference between the two and then take half of that, and then I have it. The problem is I don't know what Q is, QS is yet, but it's really easy to solve because it's a circle. 360 degrees in a circle. I need to add the arcs that I already know the measures for. That's what's known, so since there's only one more arc, to find its measure, I just subtract. So this measure is 100 degrees. So following through on what I already have, 150 minus 100, one half of 50 equals 25. So there you go. There's the measure of the angle. If you have, so remember, if you have an outside angle, find the measure of the two, find the measures of the two arcs that are intercepted, so the ones that are created essentially by the points that you have. So if you had a two tangents, like it only struck up here, then you would have this minus this. Or if you had two secants, you would go from this point to this point and this point to this point. So subtract those two intercepted arcs and then take half of that and you'll get the answer every time.